Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Just got back from the theater. Went with my daughter to go see Transformers 1, the brand new Transformers film. Went to at, see it at a Regal Theater. And hopefully this is no indication for how the box office is going to do for the weekend. But we were the only two people sitting in the theater for a pretty much a 1 o'clock showing for this film. And the film, I mean, if you're on the fence because of the trailer, don't be. The trailer does not do this film justice. And I thought the trailer was pretty good, pretty solid, but it definitely does not do the film overall justice. I think the film definitely is well-deserving of being number one at the box office this weekend. Chris Hemsworth does a great job as the voice of Orion Pax, of course, eventually being Optimus Prime. Scarlett Johansson as Alita One. Uh, Brian Henry Tyree, I believe that's the gentleman's name, uh, does the voice of Megatron. The friendship that's built up throughout the the film pretty much between Orion Pax, Optimus, and Megatron, or the, the character who will become Megatron, is, it's great. Like, you you feel that friendship. Even in like an animated CGI film, you see the friendship between these two built up, and when eventually, when it hits that climax, because you know where it's going to go in this film. We know the rich history of Transformers. We know that eventually something's going to lead down that path to the confrontation between the two of them. But I'm not going to spoil too many things in the film as far as, you know, what what gets us to that point. All I'm going to say is that they did a very good job. This, this is a great film for, you know, fans of the 80s cartoon and, you know, basically fans old and new. This is a film for them. It was just, it, I had a lot of fun with it. She had a lot of fun with it. She's a big Bumblebee fan, and Bumblebee shines in the film as well. He has a, my most, like, there are some moments that you laugh out loud in this film, and they are definitely because of Bumblebee. Like, absolutely because of Bumblebee. And like I said, I think Scarlett Johansson did a pretty good job as Alita 1 as well. But overall, I thought this film was just, it was fun. It was just a lot of fun. You know, um, I don't know if I would take, like, little, little kids to go see this one, but I think definitely it, it's... Pretty much overall, it's a, f a family film. Um, there are a couple of things that maybe like the little ones might get a little frightened by. You know, I'm talking little, little ones. But overall, I think this is a pretty much a family film. And like I said, if you're a fan of the other Transformer films, you're not going to be disappointed with this one. I think they've definitely gotten themselves back on track with Bumblebee and then with Rise of the Beast and now with this one. And I'm really looking for. I would love to see a sequel done in this style for this film because I think it definitely deserves it. I think it deserves to be number one at the box office. Like I said, hopefully us being the only two people in the theater for this one, hopefully it's not an indication for overall how the overall box office will be for the weekend because it's a lot of fun. There's action, there's comedy, and there's just, there's a lot of heart and a lot of emotion put into this one. So definitely go check out Transformers 1 now playing in theaters. Like, subscribe, and comment if you get the chance, and I'll catch you guys in another episode. Take care.